An essential part for shooting our cannon is the angle we shoot our tennis balls at. With this website's help, we will evaluate different angles of which our projectile will land. Although the distance may not be close <clears throat> whatsoever to what we get in our actual cannon, the angle that will give us the maximum distance is what we'll, we will use for our cannon. Starting at a launch angle of 25 degrees, we will observe the distance the ball travels. As you can see, the tennis ball's path of travel is shown by the red dots on the blue surface. In this test, we received a distance of 194.2 meters. I'll run that one more time. The red dots are represented as the path of travel of the ball, 194.2 meters. Next, we'll be testing the 45 degree angle. <clears throat> Just by observing, the 45 degree angle had a larger height than the previous 25 degree. It also had a longer distance at 252.5 meters out of the total 255 meters of the air of the total distance shown in the in the x-axis of this horizontal plane. Lastly, we'll test the 75 degree angle. <clears throat> Again, just by observing, this ball traveled too high and didn't travel far enough. As you can see here, it only made it 126.7 meters out of the 255 meters that could have potentially traveled. In conclusion, angles over 45 degrees will fall short because it shoots upwards and not horizontally. <clears throat> angles under 45 are shorter as well because they do not have enough height to compensate for the ball's arc. As you can see here, the smallest angle, 5, only traveled 40.6 meters because it didn't have the arc it needed to travel. One and a half as the uh, main entry point for so to fire. We had a uh, hoof ball to fire yes. out of. We had the ethanol to fire yeah, like two right tennis there. can lids and so 18 inch tape. Oh, we used the lids to tolerate yeah, the pressure. Uh, and wait, 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 wait. There's no logic on The way this works, <laughs> after the ethanol <laughs> converts into a gas, it'll naturally go up as a gas normally does. These two lids will be the point for osmotic pressure. This lid will be completely flat and untampered with. This second, this second lid will be will have a will have a hole cut through it and be shaped into a cone feature. This is not only to apply pressure directly to this point, but also to ensure that no gas is trapped. Assuming that we have it non cone so just a flat lid with a hole inside of it, it could get trapped in certain areas. By rounding it, it applies pressure directly to the center of the main lid, while also creating a smaller volume. And based on the gas laws, a smaller volume equals a larger pressure. The pressure we need to eventually shoot this ball into the air. The pressure is going to come in contact with this lid, push on the lid, and eventually push on the ball. The lid will eventually fly fairly short, while the ball will fly even farther. And the cannon is set up at a 45 degree angle to ensure the maximum range as we mathematically solved. Using the 45 degree angles that we 
um, figured out during the the trajectory calculator that we looked on online, we found 45 to be a reasonable and uh, angle that would give us the maximum distance for our trajectory projectile. Um, and the ethanol on our cannon reacts to form gas. Yeah. Like it will go through a combustion reaction. Yeah.